Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for September 7, 2023, the SBF in Jail edition. And we begin with that story from the New York Times that Sam Bankman Fried, SBF himself, has a life of eating bread, drinking water, and peanut butter in jail. He is trying to get additional um, access to internet so that he can have access to pages of digital evidence. Of course, he brought this on himself by violating the court order regarding his bail. He also wants some Adderall to help his ADHD. Um, His lawyer said he has not been getting enough access to help him prepare for trial and should be released. Good luck, Sam. Next up from the Financial Times, um, how the next generation is breaking into corporate bedrooms. Getting a board seat is always difficult, but as a under 50 and a person of diversity in the United Kingdom, it's even more difficult. Rather than signing up for educational programs, she uh, got some practical experience by hiring a matchmaker who helps executives work their way into their first boardroom roles through an apprenticeship. So perhaps something like that could be brought to the United States to help bring the next generation into the corporate boardrooms here. Uh, Next up, I'm shocked, shocked, I say, to find out there was possible systematic, systemic corruption in refereeing in the Spanish Football League to aid Barcelona. A Spanish court said the soccer giant may have benefited from almost two decades of systemic corruption within the country's refereeing committee. Um... This is certainly uh, would explain a lot. And even Real Madrid has joined the prosecution in this. And our final story comes to us today from the Wall Street Journal, Risk and Compliance Journal, Richard Vandeford reporting that the UK financial regulator, the uh, FCA, said it would look into whether domestic politically exposed persons might be getting unfairly cut off from banking services. This, of course, comes from the fallout of uh, Nat West in the Nigel Farage manner. And uh, the agency intends to publish its review uh, in about a year, but said it could take action against banks sooner if they identify problems with the institution's uh, policies. Uh, Normally, uh, looking at third parties is done by the banks unilaterally, but because of some pretty severe uh, data privacy breaches by the bank, this, and of course, with Nigel Farage, it was front page news and changes may come. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.